Has this ever happened to you? You're minding your own business, working on something important, when suddenly you've got mail. You've got mail. You open up your email and see that, lo and behold, someone has sent you a message with an attachment, a PowerPoint file. You remember that you were talking with your coworker the other day about a PowerPoint presentation that you needed to review, especially because it had a video that your coworker wanted some feedback on. You're excited. You're jazzed. You remember thinking, I can't wait to see this PowerPoint. But when you open the PowerPoint, things just aren't right. In fact, it looks like the video is missing. What gives, PowerPoint? You were excited about opening up the presentation, but now you're just frustrated, and all you can think is, Ugh, I hate PowerPoint. If this has happened to you, you're not alone. And before you get too frustrated, it's important to understand how a PowerPoint file actually works. A PowerPoint file is like a bucket. Well, more like a bucket with a lot of holes in it. You can put all sorts of things into this bucket. You might add a single video or multiple videos. You might have a video that's a testimonial or a tour or an interview or some animation. Really, it could be video of just about anything. You might also include photos to help make your point. PowerPoint even allows you some basic editing tools to touch up your photos. You're also bound to have text in this presentation as well. All of these individual pieces get dumped into a single bucket into your PowerPoint file. It looks like all of your artistic and textual elements are living together in perfect harmony, but what's really happening is that your computer is drawing invisible lines, the technical term for these invisible lines are links, to all of the files that are stored on your computer. When all of this is working the right way, PowerPoint thinks it's pretty hot stuff. And rightly so. Getting all of those pieces to play together is no easy feat. But, if you send your PowerPoint to someone else in an email, all of these links, those invisible lines to your other files, get broken and disconnected, and suddenly PowerPoint can't find any of the cool things you included in your presentation. So, what can you do? Well, if you're going to include a video in your PowerPoint and you plan on sharing it with others, you should use a flash drive. You use a flash drive as a place where you store all of the media that you're using in your PowerPoint and make sure that when you add a video to your PowerPoint that you link it from the flash drive. This makes sure that all of your links stay intact no matter what computer you use and that PowerPoint works just the way you want it to.